So this is really exciting. In about an hour or so, I'm going to the airport to meet up with two of my friends, Alex and Stina. You have seen them on my vlogs before. We are going to Berlin just to have a great time and also making some content and shooting some pictures and everything. Because Alex is a photographer, Stina is used to be a model to also dabble a little with photography. And I myself am a videographer. So that is going to be really, really, really fun. I thought that for this trip, I would do something special. I have been for a while now actually considering changing my Canon M6 out that I mostly use for vlogging because the ISO is just too low. It only goes to 6400 and that is simply too low when you're in dark areas. I was roaming around the internet and I didn't find a new vlogging cam but I found an another cam that really woke my interest and that was the Fuji. Originally it was the Fuji X-T20 that I wanted and that is also what I want now but I can't rent that. They don't have it anywhere, so what I got is the more more expensive X-T2, which is a beast of a camera. It's said to be the best sports camera you can get right now because it has really big autofocus, but it has pretty much the same specs as the X-T20. It has 24 megapixels, it shoots in 4K. The X-20 actually has a touchscreen, this does not, it has a joystick. It has all the Fuji uh, film filters and everything. So I'm gonna take this instead and I'm gonna bring this along with me and I am gonna test it out as a vlogging cam, but also as an Instagram cam. Fuji has actually made a camera that's really good for Instagram, which is called the X-100F and the X-100T. As a vlogger who does cinema style vlogging, I want something bigger. I don't want a smaller camera like that with a fixed lens. I want something where I can change the lens. I picked the 35 millimeter 1.4. I did that because it is not that wide, but as a photographer, you don't need anything that wide. As a vlogger, you probably need something that wide. But again, this is probably not the best vlogging cam because it does not have a flip out screen. Neither does the X-T20. It has a screen you can do like that with and you can also you can also do that when you're doing portraits, but it is not ideal for vlogging. I have been seeing people using the A7S, which that I am filming on right now for vlogging. Anyways, I will test it out. If you look at this cam, this cam is a beautiful, beautiful thing. You all know Fuji for being a company who makes film and they have like I said before, they have also incorporated film filters into their cams, which is really, really cool. And I'm really looking forward to testing that out. If you look at it, everything is analog. It is a digital camera, but they have analog dials for everything on top, which usually you can find on the fr uh, front and back roll on other cameras. And all you have to go in and set it up in the menu system. But it has an ISO, it has an exposure, and it has an aperture in front. I'm gonna go spend an hour on YouTube just finding out everything I can, and then I'm gonna go meet up with Alex and Stina, and then I'm probably gonna hand this over to Alex because he is the photographer. All the pictures is gonna go up on Instagram, on my Instagram, and also all the vlogging material is gonna go up on either this video, but there's gonna be a whole lot more that goes up on my vlog about me being in Berlin, so go check that out as well. Everything, link, and everything is gonna be in the description and uh, I'm gonna see you in a while. right smack in the middle of Kurfürstdamm, which is a fancy hipster part of uh, Berlin, we, where we found out that our hotel is, which is, that's kind of nice. We just got up, I got my Starbucks. Uh, I think we are going to uh, Alexandersplatz and we were go gonna start taking some pictures and start vlogging a little. And I think that's the plan for now. Yeah. yeah. Alex is a photographer, so I'm gonna hand this over to him a little and I'm gonna do it myself. And Stina, who is controlling the cam right now, is also gonna take some pictures and we're gonna throw them up. I'm just gonna take the day, just gonna go out and yeah. I 
am now trying to vlog with the Fuji X-T2. I have no idea if I'm in focus. I have no idea how the sound is, but I guess I'll find, figure that out. The good thing about it is that it's pretty light, so my, I've no idea if I'm cropped in. This is the 35 millimeter, so it's probably pretty close to my face now. The guys are in trying to get something green, something smoothie-like, something, something, something. Alex, every time you hear something green, it's pretty nice. So, we are at Alexander's flat right next to it. We're gonna go and see the TV tower over there and uh, try to get up there or try just to get near to it. That is pretty much the plan right now. So, see you. So I just checked that footage and that was pretty close to my face. So I now put it on a gorilla pod and I'm trying again. I guess the trick is to point it at me and let it kind of focus on me and then just keep it in the, in the same place. I hope so. It is a little weird not being able to see myself, but it is also kind of freeing not always wanting to look up at the screen. So on we go. We have been playing around with the Fuji X-T2 a little. You've been taking ma mainly pictures, I've been taking some pictures. Stine, who is kind of uh, filming right now, has been taking some pictures. And I've been doing some vlogging as well. And I will say that I'm actually quite surprised about the vlogging. It is a little annoying though that it is so cropped in. I should, I should probably have gotten another lens, but hey, it is what it is. But it, the autofocus and the sound and everything is actually pretty great about it. But you've been uh, messing around with uh, with the camera and uh, the thing that I like about it is that it is easy and it's funny. It's fun, it's fun to use because you yeah. have everything. What do you think? I think the same, I think what's appealing to me about this as opposed to the Canon 5D Mark III that I usually shoot with is that it's so much smaller no? but it still feels like it's a professional camera. Yeah. It's not, you know, most of these smaller cameras I feel like it's an amateur point and shoot camera so it's like I can't take that out to take good pictures. But with this, I actually feel like I can get good quality pictures and it's fun to play with and it's really easy mm. uh, because you have the dials up here. And it kind of gives that sense of shooting analog on a digital camera, mm. which for, for what we do today, which is mostly like street photography and portraits, uh, uh, that's a really cool vibe. <clears throat> I would not bring this out in like a professional job, but that's not what it's for today. Mm. Um, but I, I like the form factor that it's so small, mm. but still, you know, it feels like a real camera, not yeah. a toy camera. As a videographer, I usually use the, the screen, but here I started using the optical finder because it is really good. And also you have everything in your hand, so you, you, don't, you, can, you can adjust everything while still having it up here, yeah. which is, which is it was quite nice. It's, it's, a, it's a funny camera and the, the quality of pictures is you can't really argue with that it is really good i was surprised when you did the trampoline jumping yeah. shots that it could actually you know it could shoot fast enough and it could hit the focus on that yeah that's the thing for the xt2 though that it is a uh, autofocus that was so weird uh. <laughs> that is that is the thing for the xt2 though that uh, it is so quick with the autofocus so you can actually really do some action shots the xt20 it would probably be that one that i would buy cannot do that. Well, when in Rome and when you have the XT2, let's just do it. <laughs> so um, let's go out and, and use it a little more and uh, see, what, see what happens. Some of the footage, uh, two things that I found out, I'm pretty cropped in, I can't do anything about that, I don't have another lens with me. So I probably need something a little wider and something like a go, it's maybe a zoom lens, maybe something 1645-ish something. I know that they have one of those. Right now, I'm pretty much only using the function that the X-T20 could do, but I now got Alex to hold the camera while I'm vlogging because I can't have my hand far enough away and it is a little annoying. So I want, really wanted to be able to see my face, the whole face this time. Primark. Primark. 
Well, let's go in there. now in Kreuzberg in the middle of a park the young ones are hurting their legs but then again they're not running 15 kilometers a week like I am Superman I can still feel the autofocus right now it's a little weird is it sexy is it sexy in your hand can you feel it working it is really sexy I could feel it I can I can feel it I can feel it yes so that is what we are doing now So that was an awesome trip. Berlin is an awesome city. It's a pretty pretty city and also it's an awesome city to make content in. I also want to thank Alex and Stine who came along and entertained my stupid 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 idea to make both a vlog and also a review video and also taking pictures and also everything everything. But we figured it out and everything became okay. So the X-T2, the Fuji, I have already taken it back to the store who loaned it to me. And I have to thank Gerger as well for doing that. Gerger.dk, that's an awesome store. That camera is fun. It puts the joy back in taking pictures and shooting movies. As a vlogging cam, it's fine. The picture is really good. It was a bad lens that was on there. The sound is what it is. It will always be better with a mic on it. But I actually kind of want to maybe switch out my Canon M6 for this one, mostly because if I get the Fuji, I will have a camera that can take good pictures uh, and that can actually shoot 4K because still Canon, why don't you just put 4K on your small cams? I love you, just do that. I'm thinking about switching out my M6 with, with the Fuji X-T20, not the X-T2. The X-T2 is a little too expensive and it does and it does way much more than I actually need. The X-T20 is perfect for me. Also, it's smaller, it has a touch screen, it shoots 4K and the price difference is a lot. The X-T2 is a kit lens, it's around $2,500 where the, the X-T20 is more like $1,500. So I will probably do that. As a vlogging cam, it's great. For pictures, that thing is just a beast. And that is Fuji. As you heard Alex say, he's a professional photographer. And he said, this one is really high level picture that you're taking, especially with the analog film filters that you can put on. Instagram is both pictures on the fly and it's also pictures that you're setting up. This one can really help you do that because it makes great pictures, it has Wi-Fi, and also you can put those filters on where you can actually almost right away just put them up on Instagram, or you can just add a little filter in Instagram and put them up there. The pictures in the movie has not been edited, the film has not been edited, that is straight out of the camera. I've already put them on Instagram and I have added them there because I kind of want to have them the same feel. I have a like a blue thing going on. You can find these on the link below and the link right here. Also, you can check out Alex right here and in the link below. He has his own thing called alexbook.dk. You can find him, actually you can just type in alexbook.dk on the interweb, on Facebook, on Instagram and YouTube and everything. He, was just, he will just show up there. He's a great photographer. You should really go check him out. But go check out what, I, what it actually ended up with on Instagram with the pictures. It's not all of them up there. It is only a few. I love the Fuji film. I love the X-T2, I love the X-T20. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. You can also follow along on my vlogs on these channels where I use these type of cameras so you can see how they actually work in real life. I do color grade and I do a lot of cinemagraphic stuff where I do montages, but um, without any further ado, please have a nice week. Yeah,